Well, we are in the final few days of our home and just two short days, the pack has come and pack up everything and we head to a hotel for a little staycation before we make our big cross country move. There was furniture in this room until just yesterday. We had had this room staged before we moved, um, but the stagers came and picked up all the furniture that was not ours yesterday. So we have a few empty rooms that we've just piled some toys in. O is very into Paw Patrol right now, so we pulled out most of our Paw Patrol toys and the kids are just having a blast with it. It's funny because the girls haven't really played with Paw Patrol in a while, but now that we have it all out again and baby O is having a blast, they are having an absolute blast with it too. Maya's got her fake glasses on. <laughs> I like the look though. What's going on in here? She's trying to find a Hershey's chocolate bar. Oh, are you looking for a Hershey's chocolate bar that was in your bag last night? Oh, the sand you get it. Mm. Did you eat it? Mommy ate it! Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, you that know what? That was a dollar. I was up late last night, and I was cleaning out your bag, and it looked really good. Addy caught me red-handed. I ate her Hershey's chocolate bar. From China. I need today to be a super productive day. My goal for today is to set up a section of our house where it's all the things that the packers cannot pack that we're going to need over the next couple of weeks when we are between houses. So I need to pack the girls' clothes, my clothes, Baby O's clothes, plus all the filming equipment we're going to be using, our computers, hey, anything that we cannot have packed. Plus the girls will have a recital after we get packed. The recital costumes, the list is just ginormous. Alright Maya, I'm starting with your bag. and we actually get into our new house on the other side of the country. So it's kind of hard to pack because we're going to be in California for VidCon, we're gonna be doing a commercial in LA, we're gonna be staying at my parents' house in Orange County, we're gonna be back in Arizona for a little bit, so it's kind of hard to think about all the things we're gonna be doing, all the places we're going to be, and making sure we have all the clothes, the swimsuits, the pajamas, and everything we need for that three week period. While the girls are downstairs playing old maid, I'm going to move on to Addie's room and try to get her all packed up and ready to go. I told the girls we gotta clean out the fridge and the freezer before we leave and they're taking that very seriously. We have a lot of Otter Pops and they're making sure we get the Otter Pops finished before we leave. You're a purple sign in. All right, now that you've all sampled every flavor, which one was the best? Pink. pink. The pink one? What flavor was it? Yeah, um, we don't know, but it just tastes so good. We were all doing on a scale from one to 10, and the pink, the flavor was definitely a 10, and the color was an eight because it could have been a little bit brighter. <laughs> that was first place. Second place was like blue. Blue, blue the okay. The color was 10, and then the flavor Red was nine. Red Red flirt. So there you heard it, folks. If you buy Otter Pops, pink is the best. Blue is the second best, or it is third. Now you know. We definitely need to pack my receptionist outfit for Toy Hotel, and I have my housekeeper Natalie outfit that's gotta go. And of course, I can't forget my crazy housekeeper Natalie wig. Our plan is to hopefully fill a couple of videos while we're on the road in actual hotels, because otherwise we might be in a little bit of trouble by the time we get filled in our new house, we might be short on videos. So we're going to try to be productive while we're between our homes. It's really crazy how much work it is to move and this is definitely making me realize that I hope this is our last move for a while. I hope this is our forever home that we're moving into. Do you guys know how to make a slime bubble? Oh, you Oh, look at the slime bubble I made. Oh, oh that, that was, was a so good cool. one. Oopsies. Oopsie daisy. Now I have six pounds of slime. Yeah. Oh, I love doing this. Pop. 
So even though we're on summer vacation, I always like to make sure that the girls are keeping up their academics, they're practicing their reading still, their math, their writing. I used to be an elementary school teacher, so it's like very important to me. So I make sure I bring lots of workbooks for the kids, reading materials, they both have to bring, read lots of books over the summer. They've got their reading timers, which are the best little bookmarks that we'll take with us. And of course, lots of flashcards to practice sight words, to practice math facts, and just phonics. You having a slumber party in the living room? There's no towel. I know we have to get creative now, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you know what this does at night time, Maya? It sings a song. It sings a song, and what else does it do to help you sleep? It puts on a light. It does, it's gonna put like stars yeah, up in your sky and constellations. Shut. Then I don't need to, to turn on my lights at night time. How do you, how do you, I'm turning the music. Maya still struggles a little bit at night time. We usually have to have the lights on when she goes to bed until she falls asleep. And I usually have to lay with her until she's asleep. Then I sneak out, turn the lights off, and it's a whole big long routine. So we're trying something new and seeing if this little um, cute little pal that she can go to bed with might help out a little bit. We'll let you know how it works out. I've designated this little alcove in our room as a corner of things that the movers are not going to pack up in a couple days when they come to pack because these are all the things we're going to need for our two to three weeks in between our two houses. I've got the girls dance recital costumes over here because we still have one more recital we have to get through on Friday. We also have to bring a few toys with us because we are going to be filming a couple toy hotel videos while we're in hotels. We started a video actually about a week ago about monsters invading the toy hotel and it's gonna be a fun one. We have like a blob that comes, mummies, um, oh, what else? We have a werewolf, all sorts of crazy monsters that come to the toy hotel. So I tried to find some monster themed toys to incorporate it. So I'm making sure we pack those so we can use it for the part of the video that we're going to film at the Princess, um, which is the hotel here in Scottsdale where we're gonna be staying for about five days. We've got lots of tic-tac-toy wristbands that we have to bring as well, um, as well as a whole pack of stickers. Because we're going to be at VidCon in a couple weeks and we're having a meet and greet there, so we wanna make sure we have lots of goodies to hand out to everyone who comes say hello to us. I miss Coral already. Me too. We decided we could not take Coral with us on our big move. It was just too much to have to deal with moving around the country with a goldfish in like a little plastic bag. So luckily, Addie has a friend who offered to take it for us. And it's Addie's good friend Charlotte, who you've probably seen in some of our videos. <laughs> and we already <laughs> delivered Coral to Charlotte, didn't we, Addie? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> now we're left with the big task of emptying out an old dirty fish tank. You could not pay me to stick my hands in there. I'm the one who took care of cleaning the fish tank, but I went and did every effort to avoid ever having to touch that water. It's just, it grosses me out. Yep, that looks pretty gross. <laughs> All right, Addie. Fish plants into the trash. Ew, no, I'm not touching those. What? You reach into the water, but you won't touch them now? Nasty. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna take Addie's dresser and put it down in our donate pile. We're really, really trying to purge a bunch of stuff, and her dresser is just kind of a little bit older. We're gonna get a new one when we get to our new house. The problem with having a big donate pile sitting outside for a few days is that things keep wandering back inside. Every day we find more and more things being lugged in by the kids, particularly BBO over here. He likes to haul things back into the house. I have rice in here. Yeah, I have my rice in here. Yum. Can and Addy have some rice and these? And edamame, of course. Since our fridge is looking pretty empty, we decided we'd order Thai food tonight for dinner, which is one of my favorites. I think I could eat Thai food 
every day. Every meal, I love it that much. Me too. You like Thai food that much too, Addy? Me too. You too? So you see us get ready for this movement. We've been talking about moving for months now. It's been in progress for quite a while, but we haven't told you where we are moving yet. So I'm gonna let the girls tell you that. So girlies, where are we headed? Nashville. <laughs> we are. Nashville is a long way from us here in Arizona, so it's gonna be quite the change for us. The reason we're going there is Jason and I went there a couple years ago and fell in love with it. And luckily with our job, uh, we can pretty much live anywhere and work anywhere, and we thought, you know what? Let's have a new adventure. Let's go experience a new city. Let's go meet some new friends and just live life and have a good time. What are you two most excited about mm. with moving to Nashville? I don't know. Um, meeting some more friends. Meeting some more friends. So what's crazy is I am the only one who has stepped foot in our new house. I actually went and I FaceTimed Jason through it. So he saw it through a phone. The girls have not seen it at all. They don't want to see it. They want it to be a surprise. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a big surprise for them. But the backyard's really fun. It's kind of on a slope, but there's tons of big trees in the back and lots of fun areas to explore. And I know they're going to have a blast back there. I saw the pictures on your phone. You did see them? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Are you to see it? It's Aww. very pretty. <laughs> and what's underneath our house? A basement. A basement. We don't have basements here in Arizona. I guess some houses do, but not where we live. And I grew up with the basement when I lived in Colorado. So I'm excited to have a basement again. We have a whole room that's gonna be our filming studio. We have a whole storage area for all of our filming accessories. So I think filming is gonna be a lot easier in the new house too. So we can't wait when we move to show you around. It's gonna take us a while to get it all, you know, how we want it and have it all set up with our furniture and how we like to decorate it. But we'll show it to you from the very beginning so you can watch the process. All right, guys, so who is ready for Nashville? Me. Woo! Yeah. 